homes that I have them are in the same place. In fact, most Holton families of the, de of the time were in fact Republican families and you have 1160 some women have signed that letter now and that doesn't necessarily sound like a lot of people but when you keep in mind that a Holton class average is about 70 students, that's a lot of students. It's okay. a lot of class. If we could set aside for, for, for a second uh, the FBI investigation because there's not going to be one. So, so what we've got, her word, his word, seems like the men are caught up on what the president's caught up on and that is due process. Where is the proof that tips the scale here? Is he not innocent until she's got that kind of proof? And you and women respond to that with what? I have a couple thoughts. I find, again, I'm not an attorney. Me I didn't get either. a law license this week. So, but at the same point, I find it fascinating that when men say they don't remember so they didn't do it because they were drinking, we believe them. But when women say it happened even though they were drinking, we don't believe them. Right. When men have come forward to talk about abuse at the hands of Catholic priests, we believe them. When women come forward, we don't. And I don't know what actually happened. I think there's some commonality of their stories. I think the standard is not that of a courtroom. This is about whether he gets a job for the rest of his life, not whether or not he's innocent or guilty for jail time, right? Um, I find it fascinating that um, we have this gender split. We also have a situation where, you know, the stories are similar. We have uh, Dr. Blase Ford very clearly identifying Kavanaugh and one of his best friends. She's got some facts there that are not nothing. Um, and I think we do have to listen in here. What I'm disturbed by is the pace of this, which basically says, yeah, we're gonna let her talk and then we're gonna do what we were gonna do anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd love to believe that there's some ears in the Senate that are open to actually hearing what she has to say. Uh, everybody else is taking bets. Want to make a prediction? How's the vote, how's the vote gonna go? Look, at the end of the day, we're gonna get somebody on the Supreme Court who has very similar positions to the president and to the GOP members of the Judiciary Committee. Whether it's Kavanaugh or not, that's what's gonna happen. Even if, even if the Senate flips, it's an advise and consent process. Sure. The odds are we know what kind of jurist we're going to have. You know, I, you were saying as we came on that there's a potential fourth. If there's really four and this continues to snowball over the next couple of days, there's a chance we don't have him. But I'm not sure that he doesn't get approved. Right. And but I hear what you're saying. You're, you're saying it's, it's, it's a job interview. There's enough doubt there. Do you really want to roll with this guy or can we do better? I understand perfectly well what you're saying. I also understand what the guys are saying too, but that's where we are, you know. Topper? All right, Bruce, some good news. The uh, severe thunderstorm watch uh, no longer in effect for places like Frederick County, Loudoun County, West and Manassas. I think it's going to be trimmed uh, pretty shortly around the metro area. Quite frankly, I think, I just tweeted this out, that, that I think the severe weather is over if you are west of I-95. We do have warnings for Baltimore and Anne Arundel County and part of Howard County. The watch it technically goes until 11 o'clock. I don't think it's going to make it all the way to 11 o'clock. Here's the latest line of showers and storms. It's essentially straddling 95 and then it's east of 95 into Prince George's County and then points south back into uh, Charles County. A lot of lightning uh, with these and rainfall rates over an inch and three quarters per hour. So tremendous rains now in Bowie, Upper Marlboro, just to the west of Dunkirk. And again, the watch, the warning up in Anne Arundel County is until uh, 745. These are moving essentially east at about 30, so headed toward Shady Side at 745 and maybe a plum point at about 755. Rainfall, well, we'll zoom in. Pretty good rainfall here. This is Doppler uh, estimated uh, just to the uh, north of uh, 115 and 124, not far from Montgomery Village, almost two inches of rain. That did cause uh, some flooding earlier. And we have uh, some storm reports now coming in. So off to the west, we have a tree down earlier around Martin Road, and that was uh, earlier this afternoon. Now we have some more recent activity. So uh, Maryland 355 close at Ball Road flooding and also up toward Urbana close flooding at Ball Road at 659. So a lot of flooding with these. But again, the good news, if you are west of I-95, you're OK. Yellow weather alert tomorrow, not for storms, for rain and showers, 69. Morning rain on Friday, then a nice day, mid 70s. Nice on Saturday. Great. First full weekend of fall. Nice on Sunday. And we warm up next week into the middle 80s. Bruce will be back right after this.